Luke, what's up? Luke, hey. Hell Luke. yeah, get casual with I really with that enjoy mic. your question. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, Luke Baker, sophomore at School of Mass Communication and Journalism at Texas State University. Yeah. <laughs> Is this uh, your LinkedIn? <laughs> yeah, but I gotta tell Actually. you, that shit's broken bad for us in the past. I thought you were gonna be like, my SoundCloud is... <laughs> Just ask the question, Luke. I will right. warn you, if you're about to do that, the last time it happened, the person was booed so hard they sunk into the mantle of the earth. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all of you. It was fucking brutal, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> Right. We will do nothing to stop it. We will do nothing to stop it. <laughs> Thank you for warning me. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, my question is, uh, what is charcuterie? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because... Uh, you don't need to clarify okay, me on that. I, I would be interested to see why. Um, that word's been kind of haunting me for the past month. <laughs> I've just heard it so many times. Um, Where? I, mean, I just... I don't, it, just like in passing. Mostly menus just, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just like on park benches and stuff. I, I, I don't, do you, just like in casual conversation, yeah. I've never really had the heart to like be like, okay, what is that? So I figured you guys would do be you the Do you have any, any clue? Like, don't you, you fucking lie to me, Luke. How much do you actually know about charcuterie? <laughs> Literally nothing at all. Okay, <laughs> Luke, okay. Uh, 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 let me take a crack at it. It's cheese and meat. All right. Well, uh, but also sometimes wait. it could be almonds. And it could be olives. almonds, and it could be a pickle, and it could be jam honeycomb. of honeycomb some sort. Is sometimes it on there. It could be crusty bread. I think it's whatever the fuck they got laying around. <laughs> yeah, it's a fancy word for leftovers <laughs> that are easy yes. to make. If it, it took work to make little ones, that's an appetizer or an hors d'oeuvre. If if they just cut up something from Pepperidge Farm, that you got charcuterie going, my friend. What's the one? What's the one with the little vegetables? What's that called? A plate of little vegetables is called crudite. Crudite. Crudite is vegetables. Charcuterie is cheese and charcuterie meat. Charcuterie has vegetables on it too. Sometimes. Listen. Let's dial in. Let's start with what isn't. What isn't charcuterie? A car. A, a child's A child's <laughs> laughter. A child's, child's laughter. laughter. The air we breathe. The, the stage I'm sitting on. A dream of your grandparents. Yes. <laughs> a memory of summer's past. <laughs> These things... Well, wait. Hold a memory on. of summer's past could be charcuterie. Yeah, my grandma can remember, remember charcuterie. charcuterie from the past. Listen. Also, your grandparents might have dreamed of charcuterie. I don't and know And a child might be laughing at charcuterie. charcuterie yeah. Okay. When... Ah, that's some funny charcuterie, <laughs> they'd say. When a bread becomes too hard to safely consume, it is now charcuterie. When, when a thin meat is deemed too flavorless, it has become charcuterie. When and room temperature. When a cheese has been deemed to be too flavorful, now it's charcuterie. Are you following me? I get it. There's, imagine <laughs> uh, when you go and you have to work at a restaurant, you go get your food handler's license, you learn about the safe range of temperature. Yes, the danger zone. There's a secret gauge they don't tell you about and it is when does bread become so hard now it's charcuterie baby and also it should be clear these can't be loose things one piece of bread is not charcuterie one piece of cheese is not charcuterie one piece of meat no put it all in the same area maybe it's like a hunk of wood Maybe it's a stone slab. Maybe it's someone's face. I don't know. Now, now it's charcuterie. Another big determining factor. If it costs thirty dollars, that's a charcuterie. That's a charcuterie. The if it's complimentary, at the six dollar offering at Applebee's is a ham party. <laughs> or that, as that it's called on the menu, so a ham slam. A ham slam. <laughs> That explains so much because the reason I was pitching myself earlier is because I'm not worth thirty dollars yet. So oh, yes. <laughs> no, but no, 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 don't all that. That's a fucking no. goal. Yeah. That's an aspiration. Also, I remember the first time I ate charcuterie, I went, Oh, that cheese is wow. Yeah. Taste I went, taste that, taste that, taste that. It's really pungent, huh? <laughs> but I've made it because it was thirty dollars that I had. That's the thing. Charcuterie is like the noted excess of food. Because it's literally like, hey, do you want a delicious appetizer or like a plate of actual food you're going to eat? No, no. Give me a big hunk of wood with some leavens on it. Sure. For $30. For $30. If you run, if you own a, if there's, I know there's a food scene, Austin, I know it because I live here. If you're a restaurateur, restaurant owner, please, Christ, do this because it's the best idea I've ever had in my life. If your restaurant sells charcuterie, and it costs $30, and it's got 
flavorless ham and stinky cheese on it. It should also come with a sticker that said, I had charcuterie today. (laughs) They put that on you. You go to any job interview in the fucking city. What are your what are your qualifications? I have I have thirty dollars to throw around. My teeth are hard enough to chew through the firmest breads. Luke, does that help? That helps me immensely. Thank you so much. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Luke.